Today, I want to discuss this very classic logic question with you guys. And I believe many people, when they first saw this question, they will make a common mistake. So let's be careful with this. So here's the claim. It says that if one side of a car shows a valve, which is just the English alphabet, A, E, I, O, U, then the other side shows an even number. Okay, that's the claim. And now here we have these four cards. The first card shows you, okay, this side is an A, and then the second sh card shows you the B, and then the third card shows you the three, and then the fourth card shows you the four. The question is, which cards right here must be checked to see that the claim is correct? Hmm, what do you think? Well, please pause the video and think about this first and then watch the solution. Fine, if you don't pause the video, let's just watch the solution right now. Okay, do we have to check the first card? It shows you an A. Yes, we do. And the reason for that is because A is a valve, which this card satisfies the condition. So that means we must also satisfy this conclusion. So we must flip the card and make sure the other side, so I'll just write need the other side to be an even number. Condition, conclusion, that's for A. Okay, I think many people will get A, no problem with that. Moving on to B, do we have to check the second card? Well, in fact, we don't because B is not a valve. So this card does not satisfy the condition, so we don't care about what will happen to the other side. If it doesn't satisfy the condition, it doesn't happen. No, it doesn't matter what happens to the conclusion. So the back can be an even number, it can be an odd number, we don't care. We don't have to check this right here. All right, now we have these two cards. Let's talk about number the, the fourth one first. Four is an even number, so do we have to check this? To check, to check that the other side shows you a valve? The truth is, we don't. Why? Well, let's think about it. This right here is just the conclusion. It shows you an even number. But does this guarantee that the other side has to be a valve? No, it doesn't. This is the idea of a converse. If this is true, in fact, the original, this right here, it doesn't have to be true. Okay, 3 is an R number, so what do we do with that? Well, in fact, this right here, we have to check it. Why though? Well, the truth is, 3 is odd, so that means it does not satisfy this conclusion. That means we better not have the condition. And this is the idea of the control positive. So we will have to flip this card to the other side and check the other side to not be a valve. Let me just review this with you guys real quick. This right here, we can break it down the if then statement and say, let's say this part is the statement P, and then this right here is the statement Q. So originally, our if then statement shows we have P implying Q. So that's the case for the first one. We have P then we must have Q. We have a valve, so we must have the other side to be an even number. Well, the contrapositive idea, this right here is that if we don't have Q, then we must not have P. So right here, we don't have the condition Q, then we have to check the other side to not be a valve, just like that. And these two are logically equivalent, and that's a logic question. Very fun, huh?